Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's nice to be here at Friendship Shaving. Welcome to Madonna Shave with me, Mark. And I've got a pretty good shave this week for you. I've just been putting on my pre-shave oil, lime and patchouli scented, because I've got a lime scented soap this week. And uh, I also wanted to talk this week about horse hair brush and this is one that I've got I've had it soaking it is a Vi Long brush it is the 12705 and we'll talk about that more as we get going let me just put that back in a drop of water I've got a beautiful 1938 to 1945 fat handled tech to shave with today and I'll talk about that more later. I'm going to put a Wilkinson sword blade in this razor. First time I've shaved with this particular one. And uh, I've received a mail call this week, so I will also talk about that, but I'll leave that till the very end of the shave. There we go, I had a bit of trouble getting the blade out there. So a Wilkinson sword blade. One of the German ones. got that on in the razor and all ready to go now let me just wet my face a little bit now the soap I've got today is homemade soap it is a lime and coconut soap and um, it's been kindly sent to me by uh, my buddy Ben from South Australia it's his uh, second attempt at making a soap and he sent me some uh, so that I might give my opinion. Now, I'm not going to do that on camera. That will be unfair to Ben, but I am going to use it today. So I'm just going to hold this chunk in my hand and uh, going to load the brush from that. Now the brush I'm using is a, uh, the handle is 45 millimeters high and the loft of the brush is 57 millimeters high. And uh, horsehair brushes can either be very soft or very firm. So ideally they can give a, let me add just a drop of water to that. Ideally, they can give a great combination of firmness and backbone with soft tips. Now, I don't know how long I've been going on this soap, but I'll tell you what, I think my brush is really quite well loaded there, so we'll just leave it at that. Now obviously I've got a bit of soap on my hands. So I'll rub that into my face. Now this brush This brush is 35% main hair and 65% tail hair. Now I've been reading up about the brushes. Um, the main hair is the softer hair. Uh, and it is the tail hair that tends to give the, um, the backbone to the brush. 
Uh, and I have seen some brushes that go to a 50-50 hair mix. Now, the texture of the brush and the quality of the hair can depend on quite a few things. So it can depend on the breed of the horse, the management of the horse, the condition of the horse, i.e. whether it's well looked after or not, and of course its diet as well. So there are a lot of variables there to getting a good quality hair. Now as you can see this soap is looking quite good. Now these horsehair brushes I've found are not expensive. They're, uh, there's a UK site, Maguire's, up in the northeast, and they have a very good range of vinyl brushes for under 20 quid, quite a lot of them. This one uh, I've seen advertised on European sites for 11 euros and 50 so quite reasonable now that all said I don't really like this brush and I'm going to tell you why as we go along now what's this what's this looking like this lather not bad eh I think that's pretty good. It's not a voluminous lather, but uh, that looks quite nice. I've got plenty on my brush. Now, I should say that this is not my first horsehair brush. The first one I got was a Vylong, another Vylong, slightly different. Again, it was a 35-65 mix of a softer mane hair with the coarse tail hair. It didn't turn out to be the brush that I thought it was going to be. When I first used it, I thought it was going to be a terrific brush and I thought it would break in and be just about the softest brush that I've ever used, but it didn't work out that way. What happened with my other brush was that it started to tangle in the centre of the knot, and it was really bad at that, to the point where whenever I used it, the centre of the knot was lower than the outside of the knot. And I never quite got those tangles out. I used to spend quite a long time sat with a pin trying to work out those cotters or those tangles. Now for me that spoiled the brush slightly. Um, I untangled it all and uh, every time I used it I'd be right back to where I started. So. I 
did pass it along. And uh, ever since then I've wondered if I've missed a trick with horsehair brushes. Vylon are the most popular. They are a Spanish company based in Valencia in Spain and uh, established in 1940. So they are a well established business known worldwide. And one assumes that they have a very good reputation, but uh, I'm just not getting on with this brush. Now, I'll tell you why, as, as I lather up for my second pass. I don't have the tangling in this brush that I used to get in the first brush, which is something. But with regard to that issue, it seems to be that there's some inconsistencies with horsehair brushes. Some people seem to experience tangles and others don't. So um, and I guess I'm really having this conversation, you know, with you to find out what your experience of uh, horsehair brushes. Now I find with this one that if I do this, it is very soft. When it's dry, it's very much like a boar bristle brush. It has that stiffness, uh, but with the softer tips than a boar bristle brush. And it carries that, it carries some of that um, backbone into the shape when the brush is wet. Now, the reason I don't like this brush is that there are hairs in here that are very, very sharp. And this was also an issue on my first brush. I thought as I used the brush and broke it in that those bristles would soften. And that pricking issue would be a thing of the past, but it didn't work out that way. Now I bought this brush second hand, it has been well used before I got it. And I have certainly used it quite a few times, even though not on film. But I'm still getting that pricking. And it's more than, um, you know when you have a, a brush like a pure badger or something like that and people describe it as having a little bit of scritch or a little bit of scrub. For me it's more than that. It feels like I'm being pricked with a pin and in fact sometimes if I'm not careful after my shave I'm left with pricks on my skin where it's, uh, where it's broken the skin. Oh yeah, what a super razor. Now, while I've just been thinking about this, and I'll carry on talking about the brush in a moment, As soon as I, let me show you, that's the easiest way. Let me just reach across for my Frank shaving brush. 
as soon as I do this, just a tiny bit to splay that brush, even just slightly, that's when those sharp edges really attack me. And if I go like that, it's really not comfortable at all. So I'll show you what I mean in a moment, but uh, I did wonder if it was a common feature with horsehair brushes. I used this the other day and um, once I cleaned it and it was dry uh, I just rubbed it on my hand to kind of uh, reshape the knot a little bit and I splayed it on my hand and uh, one of those sharp hairs went straight into my hand and broke off inside the skin and uh, it took me ages to get it out and to get all of it out. There we are, we're soon down to the uh, to the final lathering. Now I tell you with this um, with this lime pre-shave oil, this soap on my skin feels really quite smooth, quite slippy. I um, have used it before now and uh, the pre-shave oil that I'm using is definitely helping with the sort of slickness on the skin. I'll just dip that in some clean water there. said did I? I didn't do this and I'm cleaning my brush and everything see that's getting me there really badly and that's as much as I'm going to do because it's just really really uncomfortable there we are just giving that a quick clean Now the soap I'm using from Ben is, uh, I think I said, it's lime and coconut. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like any lime soap that I've ever used before. And this is just a general question. I wonder if the lime reacts in some way with the coconut because uh, it's a really sweet smell well this is what I'm getting from it anyway it's a very sweet smell it's very very nice um, but it smells like a, like an opal fruit um, I think it's a sweet um, I think they're called starburst now it's kind of that kind of a smell And that's the first smell I get off it, and the coconut scent is a kind of secondary scent. But uh, I must admit, I quite like the lime and the coconut together. Now, personally, I would not have thought of that. Um, so, fair play. Fair play to these people that uh, uh, 
are able to come up with these great combinations. Now this tech, uh, as I suspect with all techs, is very comfortable and very effective. It's, it's an absolutely lovely, lovely shave. It's definitely one of my favourite razors. It's a great daily shave. Yeah, what a lovely razor. Do you know what? That feels nice. That feels really nice actually. Ben's second attempt at a soap there, so uh, yeah, I've got to have a go at this during the, the spring or maybe the summer when the weather's a bit nicer. I've got an outhouse out the back there and I don't go in it in the winter. Now I'm going to reach across for my Proresso Green because I just think this goes great with lime flavoured soaps, lime scented soaps. In fact I love this stuff, it's inexpensive, it's one of the best products on the market as far as I'm concerned. Now I've got a bit of burn there, so I've had a really, I have had a really nice close shave. Now, just before I finish with the shave and talk about the giveaway, don't forget there will be a giveaway on this Sunday's sit down. Uh, I'll be picking a name and announcing a winner so uh, please tune in for that now that's the shave over with if you wish to disappear at this point you can but please hang around for a mail call now have a good pal in Brooklyn uh, over in America there Mike and Mike sent me the razor that I've been using today it is a rhodium plated 1938 to 1945 tech razor you can see it's absolutely beautiful now you can see that this part here where that where the handle the knurling finishes on the handle you've got this little bulbous part here and i've seen that kind of bulb shape on quite modern razors razors well here it is on a 1938 razor, that, that kind of shape is, uh, I think it looks so classy with this handle. So that's what came in the post, along with some soaps. Now, I really need to say a thank you to Mike. We've exchanged a few things, but uh, this is unbelievable. It all came in the post. So first of all, I've got Ariana and Evans. Pample mousse with a nice picture on the front there reminds me of an old um, Impressionist painting there's some sort of fruit on there It doesn't say what the flavoring is what the scent is but It smells vaguely citrusy um, that's as much as I can tell you about that one, so I'm very pleased to get that one. See, new tub. 
absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm going to put that there. Now I know these Ariana and Evans are very well thought of and uh, in fact I've had a sample of their Asian Plum. Um, terrific soap and actually I've got now I've got a whole tub of Asian Plum. So very nice indeed. This really does smell very nice in the tub, sort of sweet and it's not a strong plum smell it's um i think that comes out more when you use it but uh very very nice indeed now the next two are my favorite and i've got one on my shelf here that came now this is from russell at the wild west shaving company originally it was from russell of course it was sent to me by Mike. This is their number two elixir and this is, now I like this because it has a scent written on it and you can just read it straight off. Scents of pineapple, lemon, citrus, orange blossom, rose, coriander and lang lang. This is a mild smelling soap. It's very nicely scented. There is a very very slight just a hint of floweriness mixed in with that freshness of the pineapple that really comes across in in the smell I can't smell the pineapple as such but it just smells fresh and sitting with that is citrus so I'm really looking forward to using Alexia number two and um, the next one I've got is a Pear Brr Shop Soap from West Coast Shaving. A cooling fruit barbershop scent. You might be unsurprised to learn that it smells of pears. It's To me it smells slightly fizzy like fizzy pears, there's something else in there as well. I'm really looking forward to using this one. It's a really fresh, nice smelling soap. Um, there is, I assume, menthol in it because of the <coughs> And the final one. Now the final one I'm really uncertain. It is a barrister and man soap, so I know it's good quality soap. It is strawberry, basil and black pepper. And it is called their Patches Shaving Soap. Now, the reason that I'm unsure about this is I think it just smells odd. But more than that, I used to have a medicine as a child and I had to take it very, very often. And it's a dead ringer for the smell coming off this soap. Now, I hated that medicine. <laughs> it's amazing how these things stick with you. But as soon as I smelled that, I could see that sort of strawberry coloured liquid in in the jar in a big bottle a big old bottle of medicine during the 60s this was so um i shall try this but i'm, I'm unsure about it so there we are that is my mail call very kindly received from mike in brooklyn mike you are the man thank you very much indeed i really appreciate this um, now, to everyone that's watched this, thank you very much for bearing with me. You take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time around. I hope you've subscribed. If you haven't, please do. And you take care now. Bye bye.